I, I'm not going to go into whatever private uh, phone calls I may or may not have had uh, with individual ministers. All that I would say uh, is that number 10, uh, who, as I say, the very senior staff members there were rude about Trump in the campaign and, in, and seemed to take an entirely negative view um, on me being here and meeting the president-elect. And I would have thought in the national interest they perhaps ought uh, to bury their personal enmity towards me um, and we ought to have a constructive conversation. So do you view the, your role then as, as bridge builder, as peacemaker, as, as the man who will uh, re-establish this special well, relationship after all that opprobrium? Well, I do think uh, that just too many members of this government said too many nasty things about the president-elect and I think there has to be uh, you know, a mending of fences. And look, I say again, if I'm, if I'm wanted by anybody in London to help, I will help. What is then, in your mind, the state of the so-called special relationship? Well, it was damaged very greatly, I think, by Obama. Um, and, and indeed Hillary Clinton took very much the same view. Look, we are, living in, we are living now in Brexit Britain. The game has changed. We're taking back control of our lives. We're taking back control of our trade policy. It gives us phenomenal new global opportunities. And one of the first places we should start is right here after the inauguration in January. Uh, where exactly are we in the queue? for sorting out diplomatic and trade relations with the United States? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, it's a bit early, I think, to uh, speculate on that, but uh, uh, let's put it like this. Uh, not just uh, President-elect Trump, but actually his whole team are Anglophile. They like our country. They recognise what we've done together in the past, and they're coming into this with an incredibly positive view. That is good news. We need to seize the day.